First of all, gotta address this. I believe I pronounced Dreamcatcher's song title wrong. It's a French word, so it's actually pronounced. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Let's talk about the serious situation that happened to Espa today while performing at an all-boys school. The school we're talking about was actually attended by Lee Su-man himself, so it's kind of tradition for SM groups to perform there for certain events. But apparently, chaos ensued right when Espa stepped foot out of their van. The girls were bombarded, no security from SM or the school. You can see Karina grabbing Winter's hand here. Pictures were posted by those kids with weird captions like just the word sex. One's just talking about their bodies. One that says, I did everything except touch them. What does that even mean? It was also reported that a teacher warned a kid who was trying to touch them, but the kid just laughed it off. The school then posted an apology, but put the blame on outsiders who tried to get in the school to see Espa, but because they couldn't get in, made up these rumors to get back at the school. So how does that explain the pictures and videos portraying the actions of their students? Well, it was discovered that the school had also sent out a text message to parents and students telling them to delete everything so that they couldn't be held legally responsible. I think it's not surprising that the school's apology has now been taken down. The only bright side, if you want to call it that, about this whole thing was Espa's manager stepping up, doing her best to protect the girls, please give her a raise. I really wish NCT bodyguard guy was there. The school has now issued a second apology, promising to educate their students on gender sensitivity so nothing like this happens ever again. A very hot topic in the past few days that has been personally addressed are the raised concerns over Yuna's health and body. Itzy recently held their first fan meeting, and in one particular fan cam, there are certain moments where you can see the outline of Yuna's ribs. This fan cam and screenshots from it started to circulate, and while most people who were talking about this seemed to be worried for Yuna's health, you also had some taking this opportunity to shame and criticize her and her body. That's why hashtag Yuna you are beautiful started to trend, with more pictures coming from different angles where the light maybe doesn't hit as harsh, creating less exaggerated shadows. Eventually, it was inevitable that Yuna was going to see all of this commotion, and she actually decided to address it herself, playfully talking to fans about everything she was eating. By the way, she apparently ate pizza with the members right before that fan meeting. Yuna ultimately reassured everyone, saying, I eat well, so please don't worry. Hey, as long as she feels healthy, happy, and as long as she feels... Well, you know. You make me so Lots of other weird things going on in K-pop lately. First, TO1's Ji Hoon departs from the group and company without any explanation from Wake One other than his contract was cancelled. At last, official YouTube channel was just hacked and deleted days after they just made a comeback. As of this recording, the company's still trying to get it back. But as always, there are also a lot of positive, awesome things going on in K-pop as well. Of course, today is the highly anticipated debut of La Seraphim, already holding the highest first day album sales by any debuting girl group. I love love that their song is called Fearless while everything about them exudes that confidence. Super low-key, no belted notes, crazy colors or outfits, anything like that. Just quietly and confidently saying, we're here. Just like Big Bang's perfect comeback with Still Life, which just earned its seventh win with no music show promotions or physical sales of any kind, also marking their 100th career music show win, and then their eighth win, which now ties them with Taeyeon's INVU for songs with the most wins in 2022. I literally listen to this at least once a day and still get emotional. That's not even a joke. Jackson is dropping photos I never thought I would see, like him and CL just chilling at Coachella. Did I really just say that sentence? Look at how majestic NCT Johnny looks repping at the Met Gala as we speak. Congrats to Oh My Girls celebrating their 7th anniversary with their fans. Congrats to Idol celebrating their 4th anniversary. And if for whatever reason this doesn't make you tear up, maybe Bang Chan's passionate speech during Stray Kids' recent concert will. <laughs> Okay. 